All right, so if you haven't been on part one, go to part one of arms. This is part two. So we're starting with Renegade Rose, Rose single. Okay. Gonna take each time to do this, I'm gonna put the weight down in between, squeeze my shoulder blades on the way up. Breathing deeply. All right, and then swap sides. So doing one at a time with such a heavy weight allows me to focus more on my form. If I'm lifting both alternating, I tend to rock my hips a lot more when it's this heavy. So if it was a lighter weight, that would be better. But I want to try and increase a little bit of strength here. Ten seconds. Ooh. <laughs> the aim here is to keep your hips as steady as possible. And if you didn't have weights, this is still also hard just by raising the arm up, pulling the elbow in and down. Marching that is very hard in itself. So don't be disheartened if you're not using a weight at this stage. It's a beautiful place to begin. So I'm not trying to rotate my body. I'm really trying to squeeze my shoulder blades here. And keeping my body as horizontal as possible to the ground. Yikes, <laughs> my core on fire. I'm sorry for the sniffles. So, I'm on the end of the cold, but <clears throat> I think my nose is still running faster than me. trying to keep my bottom as low as possible. There are slight movements, of course. <sighs> Nearly there. Perhaps one more. Yeah. Holy moly. <sighs> so we're gonna do <clears throat> seven and a half kilos for our bicep curls, I can't think right now, and we're going to hammer it. Arr, arr, to move to man, Taylor. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to keep up tall, straight, not too much body movement here. Again, I'm in no rush. I also got a handstand training after this. I'm not sure this was a smart idea, but anyway. <laughs> Right. 
don't know if anybody else gets calluses from lifting. I'm starting to get them now. It's a little uncomfortable. Not sure what's more uncomfortable, lifting or the callus. And it helps with my uh, pole dancing. If I have strong arms and strong grip. Four seconds. We should have snuck up. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds. You gotta really always talk to yourself, remind yourself that you've got this even when you're halfway through a workout or through a workout. So often it gets hard mentally and that's what stops us more than the physical. Pain and pleasure. <laughs> One more. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go into a rotational row. So when you do the rotational row, you're going to be bringing it up here and then you're going to rotate it in here sorry i'm just watching the time countdown thinking i should hurry up but no i'm just going to take the rest <laughs> so you're going to be down and row this is a 15 kilo you could also use a bench to lean on Not going to get as many reps towards the end of the workout. I'm going to rest. Whew. Only seven seconds. Time goes real quick. And rest. So feel free at any time you're doing this that maybe you want to stop and have a pause and that's okay. It's totally legitimate and a really good thing to do to stay in your form. So one of the scariest things about aging is that as you start to age, particularly from 40 onwards, you're losing muscle mass. And when you're losing muscle mass, 
you're losing your capabilities to function well and therefore you're getting idiosyncrasies and sorenesses in your body and that's all preventable by starting to lift weights so don't underestimate the power of movement and things you can do daily that can help you to age and by the time 60 or 70 rolls along if you haven't lifted weights and you've lost a lot of muscle mass people often die from that due to injuries and other issues that occur due to the lacking of muscle in their body. So something which seems insignificant in a way, or maybe it seems to you that it's all superficial to get a toned body for some, is actually incredibly important to keep longevity and health. So. I mean, for me, I started lifting again. I took a, a while off at um, 39, and I'm nearly 40, 40, this, so about a year and a half ago, 38, 39, and it's made a huge difference. At one point, I thought, oh, I had water, huge, huge water bottles in um, Thailand, and I thought, okay, I'm getting weak. I was struggling to lift them. Then I started lifting, and within a few months, I was like, I wasn't getting weak, I wasn't doing the work. So, you gotta do the work. So, we've got three more of these and then your period of work with me is done. each around 30 seconds these alternating rotational curls Whew. The biggest thing I've also found through lifting weights is that I used to get a lot of sore joints from the flexibility work and now that seems to be evening out because my flexibility and strength are equalizing out. So also if you are someone who's big into flexibility, weightlifting is very, very helpful to getting balance in your body. If you are overly flexible and not strong enough to maintain those end ranges, you're also going to get issues. So it's not even just about aging itself in the sense of getting old, it's also aging gracefully in the sense of having equality in your body. The same as if you are just weightlifting alone, you want to pick up some flexibility and mobility because that's also required to age gracefully. Everything in harmony. Yeah. <laughs> one more, one more. So don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe and you can join me for one last segment and if you want to do the full workout like me you put them all together and see what you got <laughs>